be honest, at the time, I didn't know it was wrong. Jonah Lear was a best-selling author and science writer for The New Yorker until he got caught for plagiarism and fabrication. They're both violations of pretty fundamental rules of journalism ethics. I would probably say what I did, um, fabricating quotes um, from, from Bob Dylan, uh, is, is, is a bigger mistake, is a bigger sin than plagiarism. Lear visited Fresno State last week to talk to journalism students about hard lessons. Philip Bonatti says he could tell Lear was apologetic. I think his talk uh, helped us realize the result of what we do um, when we lie and when we plagiarize our stories and fabricate. This isn't the first time a journalist has made headlines for lying. Recently, Brian Williams was suspended for embellishing about an incident during the Iraq War. I think you do lose a lot of credibility of a person, like if you find out someone so like prestigious kind of cheated their way in. Um, I think like in this day and age, it's kind of easy, easier for us to do that because we have so many resources. Business major Cheyenne Yabara is one of nearly 100 students who attended last week's plagiarism workshop at Fresno State. She says she was surprised to learn that taking your own words and reusing them is a form of plagiarism. Right-click synonym will get you a plagiarism charge really, really fast. Fresno State lecturer Judah Scott says cheating and plagiarism goes beyond the university. It continues in the real world. The person that is checking your slides for cancer cells that cut corners in college won't cut them in the lab. In the end, when it comes to cheating, you have to live with the choices you make. Angelica Leilani, Fresno State Focus. What's in there that I'm hiding?